In this lesson, we will start contour machining. This strategy generates toolpaths based on contours. Contours can be closed or open, and usually these are contours extracted from 3D model or simply 2D sketches drawn or imported from another CAD system. To add contour machining to the project, select 2D contour operation from 2D menu and the window will appear, which we already known from the first operation and the tool used in the previous operation was automatically loaded and for rough contour machining this tool will be ok. So we don't change anything in this tab. Let's go to the geometry tab and compared to face operation we have a lot more options here that can affect the toolpath and the machining program. In the first section geometry we indicate the contour to be machined. There's a field with an arrow and the word nothing and on the model we can indicate the contour that we will be working on. Uh, select this outer edge of the model just move the cursor over the edge of the model and left click and after selecting the contour will be highlighted. We can indicate several contours in one operation but for now we will focus only this one and here the chain string will appear and this means that we have the contour to be machined. If we had, for example, several contours, their number would also appear. You can click this button to delete selected contours and you can select the contours again. Select this contour and OK. Another option is tangential extension distance, which is responsible for tangentially extending the toolpath and works with the open contours. Uh, we will back to this option later and by selecting the next option, separate tangential and extension, another parameter will appear in which you can specify the tangent extension of the contour at its end. It's also connected with open contours and we will discuss it later. Okay, next parameters will be discussed in the next video.